Right, this is what we're going to be making today. It's beautiful. And it's hard to recognise it underneath all that cheese sauce and crispy cheese and oregano and paprika. But it's actually cauliflower cheese with a difference. Okay, let's get cooking. Hello, my name's John. Welcome to my channel, Cooking Around the World. Today, we're going to take a new spin on an old favourite, cauliflower cheese. But, with a bit of a difference really. We're going to cook our cauliflower, and then we're going to add to it some braised leeks and butter. Then, we're going to make a cheese sauce. In the cheese sauce, we're going to have cheddar cheese and parmesan and we're going to add that to the cauliflower and leek ensemble put it in a roasting dish cover it with grated cheese panko breadcrumbs and a sprinkling of paprika this is trying to get the paprika into the picture um, <laughs> until it's golden brown and absolutely delicious so let's get cooking There we go, there's our leeks all nice and sweated down. As soon as the cauliflower is mostly cooked, we want it so it's still a little bit firm to the bite. I'll add the cauliflower to there and then we'll put it in our baking dish and then we'll make our cheese sauce. And there you have it, the cauliflower and leeks beautifully combined. Now we're going to make the cheese sauce. So in there I've got three tablespoons of butter. Here I've got three tablespoons of gluten-free flour and to that I'm going to add 300 ml of water. So 333 remember for making your cheese sauce. So the butter's melted now we can add the flour. And then we'll put this back on the stove because we want that flour to cook. This is a very important part of making any white sauce or bechamel. So that the flour actually cooks, otherwise it's going to taste floury. Right, let's give it another two or three minutes. Right, now we're going to add our milk. Just a little bit at a time. Now this part is pretty boring. So once I've added my milk a bit at a time, I'm then going to add my cheese to this. And I'm going to use about a cup of cheddar cheese and around about three tablespoons of parmesan, grated parmesan. It's come up to heat. We're going to pop in our cheddar cheese. And 
have parmesan. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is the part I hate because I can almost taste it as I'm cooking it. Right, let's get going with firstly this beautiful cheese sauce. Oh god, just beautiful isn't it? Yum yum. Just gonna get the rest of it that's on the bottom of the pan. Right now we're just gonna do a little bit of combining, tiny bit of combining here. That's probably enough. Now I've got my breadcrumbs. So I'm going to sprinkle over the top. <laughs> Anything you put grated cheese on, if you add breadcrumbs first, you'll get a nice crisp finish. After you've grilled the cheese, you'll get a nice sort of crunchy taste going on. There we go. And then on with a bit of cheese. And you punk, I'm going to actually grab some fresh oregano out of the garden and put that on as well after it's um, been in the oven. But for now, we'll just get that into the oven so that we can eat it. <laughs> oh dear, I'm such a liar, liar pants on fire. I forgot the, <laughs> I forgot the paprika. So just a little bit of. Paprika and that will oh it's gonna look and taste so yummy. Radio now into the oven. And there you have it, straight out of the oven. You can even see it bubbling towards the back there. I've just got a little bit of oregano and we can sprinkle there and I'm going to get a serving spoon and make up a bowl and taste it and I'm going to taste it this time. Now I'm going to take a bit from here hopefully this isn't going to burn my mouth so I've got a bit of crispy um, cheese sauce on the top there and some leek and some cauliflower. Let's have a wee taste. Mm. Mm. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Seriously, I've got a bowl here <laughs> with my name on it, and I'm going to get tucked in. And I'll catch you on the next recipe.